Assalamu alaikum what's up everyone so today we are going to start a new series which will be the refining processor simulation with Asmund Heises but before that actually when I was doing this series actually I noticed that there was a lot of fundamental operations occurred before refining processes so I guess it will be great if we just take a look about these operations before starting our simulation just to give an idea about the whole story behind oil industry so I will upload this profile right here which describes the whole story behind oil industry starting from the first question how we know if there is oil in such area or not when the geologists and petrophysics come to the area and they start studying the area from two different perspectives first of all they make photographic studies to know how much oil inside and then they make core analysis and so on to the last operations where we produce all these materials so I will upload this file link in description below so you can find it okay and number two, as I promised, I will do the whole refining processes, uh, starting from atmospheric distillation, vacuum distillation, catalytic cracking, catalytic reforming, uh, desulfurization unit, water stripping unit, and so on. So today we will start the first process in refinery, the crude atmospheric distillation unit. And as we know, the distillation process based on separating basic components according to the relative volatility difference. And actually, there is a lot of complicated details about this process. For example, a lot of people may know that, for example, the reflex and the condenser parts are used to maintain or to adjust the heat balance for the system, right? But they don't know how exactly this process happened. So I'll make two videos for atmospheric distillation unit. The first video right here today, which will be the traditional method or the traditional example for crude atmospheric distillation unit simulation with ASP and Heises. Because you will find this example anywhere, even with the same numbers. So I will make it as it is just to explain some concepts and some specifications and so on. And the second video, the next video, I will change the numbers and I will explain all these specifications right here and show what are the critical specifications which cannot be changed, what other specifications which can be changed and so on. So the final plan today should be look like this. So let us do it one by one, step by step. And if you have any comments or anything that you want to say, just let me know down in comments below. So let us do it.